laid off because the restaurants closed and having student loans and rent and life and worrying about, do I have food? Is it gonna be another ramen day? Can I get eggs? You know, can I get milk? Can I get these things? Are we going to have food in the grocery stores? Sending some stores across the country scrambling to restock shelves. When the doors shut to the restaurants, the farmers don't get the orders. No one could go to a food bank. They hadn't figured out how all, all of our areas of distribution were done. The challenge of trying to prepare meals that were healthy with a small fridge and a microwave was just overwhelming at times. Adults will usually shelter children, so the most extreme form of food insecurity is when you see children starving. One in three Vermonters at some point in time face food insecurity in the first year of the pandemic. We're really talking about sort of Great Depression era uh, kinds of impacts that, that we really hadn't seen since that time. So food insecurity has reached unprecedented levels across the state. There's clearly a lot of people that uh, didn't know where their next meal was coming from, and there was a lot of uncertainty. Fearful of losing my home. We were going to be on the streets. We signed our lease four days before the state of Vermont closed. So sales went down 80% overnight. July, August, things should be settling down. That was two years ago. How are we going to feed everybody? You know, and feed everybody well. Out of desperation comes creative people trying to solve a problem. This program has shown what is possible to think from farm to restaurant to food for those who need it. It allows us to have fresh vegetables and fresh food that we otherwise would go without. <laughs>